Another quite common issue that we see in libraries are pages that have fallen out of the book, just loose pages, sometimes more than one. This happens for a variety of reasons. Um, it could be that the page was just ripped out, but more often than not, it comes down to the adhesive that's used by the publisher. Um, it tends to break down over time and pages, it, uh, the adhesive starts to fail and the pages will come loose. Another reason is if it's an older book and it's a sewn book, then um, where it's used at that hinge, the paper fibers start to wear down and the pages will fall out. So what we're going to do is I'll show you an easy way to tip these in. In this case, the edge is fairly straight, but you can see I have a little bit of a ragged edge. So I'm going to first trim that. The way I'm going to do that, I'll set the book aside for a moment. And this is, um, let's see, I'll do it this way so you can see. I have a ruler here, straight edge. And what I'm going to do, this my straight edge has a, a backing on it. Sometimes they're cork backed. This one has a thin foam. So what I'm going to do is turn my ruler face down so that I know I have really good contact with the page. And I'm going to get just really close to the edge there. I don't want to cut off much of the paper. I just want to get rid of that jagged edge. And I have a break blade knife. This is an Ulfa knife um, that works great, but you can get a break blade knife uh, at the dollar store and those work great. A regular X-Acto knife would also work well. I like the break blade because you can easily um, just get another sharp blade by breaking off the end and they tend to last a little longer than the X-Acto blades. So I'm gonna hold the ruler in place pretty firmly and I'll just run my knife down the edge You want to have a good sharp knife for this. So if you don't, you will want to break that off. Um, otherwise, what's going to happen is that it kind of catches on the paper and it starts to tear the paper and it doesn't matter how much pressure you have on, it still is not going to do a very neat job for you. Okay, so that was the spine edge there bring my book back over, make sure that I have my page numbers in the right order. Actually, I'll set this aside for a second. I have a piece of scrap paper here that I'm gonna put down. And it, you wanna make sure that you're working at the, the spine edge of the paper. You don't wanna accidentally glue the foredge. So pay attention to where your page is, especially now that we've trimmed off that edge. It's a little harder to tell if you're not paying attention. So I'm going to turn it face down. I like to put the adhesive on the back of the paper. So I'm going to turn it face down and I have a strip of paper and I'm going to mask it off just the edge so that I have about an eighth of an inch or so masked off. And I have my brush in the water over here. So I'll grab that, dry it off a little bit, get a little adhesive. I'm holding down that masking sheet and I'll just put a very thin band of adhesive down that edge. peel my strip of paper away and I'm going to put it face down there so that I don't stick it to something I don't mean to. I don't know if you can see in the video the shiny edge where I've got just a thin band of glue there. The trick though for this is you want to make sure that you're lining up your page um, and I'm going to turn it this way so that you can see but I want to line up with the head and the foredge so I'm kind of holding the glue up so it doesn't fall onto the paper before I want it to. Once I have the page aligned at the foredge and at the head, then I can just use my thumb and press it into place. Again, if you have that spreader, it'll slide right on that surface and you can get right down into the gutter of the book, into that the crevice there and make sure that you've got good contact. Then it's not a bad idea to close your book and put a weight on it and leave that um, to dry maybe a half hour or so. 
Um, if you happen to have extra uh, sections of, uh, sorry, if you have multiple sheets of, that you want to do, you could actually glue each sheet to the next one and then glue the whole section in at once. Um, but this is just for tipping in a single page.